Want to increase the level of privacy when you're surfing the net on your Android phone? Want to prevent your ISP from tracking where you're going? Stay tuned and I'm going to show you how. Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Run Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to safely surf the net on your Android phone without using a conventional VPN. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon flash briefing or podcast. Please go to techbyteswithrunnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this episode, there are affiliate links available. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on the like button, thumbs up. Now, here's what we're going to be covering. First, we're going to talk about the problem, DNS lookups. Then we're going to talk about implementing the DNS over HTTPS in Android. And then we're going to talk about implementing Cloudflare's 1.1.1 client to protect the entire phone. Well, the first thing we're going to talk about is what the problem is. And it's with the DNS lookups. They're sent out in the clear. Almost anybody can look at them as they're traversing through your ISP. Here's the analogy. When you send something, when you send a, a letter in the mail to a friend, you've got it inside an envelope. So it's reasonably protected from somebody looking at it as, as it's going from you to the post office to wherever you're sending the letter to. A postcard, on the other hand, has no protection. Oh, sure, you've got a nice picture on one side or the other, but your message is out in the open for anybody to see. And this is what we're going to talk about. We're going to show two different options on how to make your internet surfing a little bit more protected without having to use a conventional VPN. Well, the first thing we're going to go over is protecting your web browser traffic. Now, this may catch everything, but I'm still going to show you a second option just to be on the safe side. And it's this mainly is just going to cover the DNS lookup. So we'll go over here to connections, then more connection settings, and then down to private DNS. And you can put automatic, but it depends on if the provider you're on or the connection you're using supports secure DNS or private DNS as they're calling. It. So what we'll do is we'll go down here and we'll enter the host name. So it's one dot one dot one dot one dot cloud flare dash dns dot com let's tap save so you can see it's already showing the setting right there so now that we've got that let's go in to a web browser and we will type one dot one dot one dot one forward slash help and if we've got everything working right then we'll see a screen come up here in just a second so th and this is good information here okay connected to 1.1 okay good we're using both dns over https as well as dns over tls now you notice that if we were not connected this the cloudflare would be different it would say whatever the name of your isp is and the as number which that just is autonomous system that's an isp to, to to isp thing note those settings so what we'll go in here and do now is we will go back we will turn off private dns then we will go back here to this screen and we will just refresh it and now everything has has gone buck off so this is how you can protect just your dns traffic. Now what we're going to show you is Cloudflare's client. And it's, it, you can go to 1.1.1.1, but it's, it's Cloudflare who's providing the service. There's two different options. If we go to the three little bars up top, and we'll initially bring it up with just taking care of DNS, and we will say connected. And it says, you know, everything is private faster. So that's fine. So now we'll go back over here. We'll refresh the web browser. And he is offering DNS over HTTPS. And he's still working to figure out the other two because with being over the kind of connection that I'm on, apparently it's taking just a little bit longer. So you can see 
what we're looking at. So now let's go here. We will disconnect that and we'll say until I turn it back on and then we'll go down here to warp. I know I said earlier in the video that this, would, you know, you were not going to use a conventional VPN. And here's the difference. With a conventional VPN, you can pick the endpoint you're going to. So it's typically used by gamers or those who are trying to access geographically limited or constrained content. So, but this one, you just, you don't get to pick where you go out. You go to whatever data center that Cloudflare is going to let you resolve to. So now let's go back to here. We've got it on warp. So we'll say connected. Okay, now it says, notice where the, the setting has changed. It says your internet is now private. Let's go over here, see how the settings change. Okay, now at this point, see with it being resolving, I mean, with it protecting everything, notice how much quicker the settings came back. And it's actually showing me on IPv6 and the IPv4 addresses. So that is how you go about protecting your client. You've got, I've shown you two different ways. So if you want to do it with just the web browser, and that's the information I've got because the, my phone, or at least the version of Android, and I'm on Android 10, it configured us slightly differently. That's an option. The other one is using Cloudflare's client, which is at this point available at no charge. I have seen references to where if you're a heavy user, there is a service package. I think it's less than $10 a month, but this way, even if you're on when you're on a friend's Wi-Fi, anywhere with not your network, then it's a good thing to consider doing this because you're putting in an additional layer of protection. Even if you're on your home network, let's face it, we need to have a little more privacy. While you're going to HTTPS sites in most cases through a web browser, that's fine. Those are somewhat protected, but it's the DNS lookups. And this is where taking it with the Cloudflare client will take it to the ultimate next level in that it will also not only put a, a wrapper or a package around the DNS request, but it covers everything else too. So if you're doing something other than your web browser, then it's just giving you that much more protection to keep somebody from looking at what you're doing when they really don't need to. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're gonna see videos on the screen that are similar to the one you've just watched or other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.